How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carlos and today I'm going to be talking about a couple of things. It's going to be a short video today. We're going to be talking about uh, this item right here. I'm going to do a review on this uh, hex key multi-tool set. Uh, and then later on in the video, I'm going to be talking about my camera handle here that I made. I'm going to go into, you know, why I made it uh, and how, why it's been so useful to me. Um, but more on that at the end. So if you're interested, please stick around. Uh, more importantly though, we got this review to do. So let's get to it. All right, we're ready to review the multi-tool item. Now, I just wanted to start off by saying that this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this item on my own uh, back in 2018. And originally I bought it for working on my bike. Um, this, <laughs> this is not a camera tool. It's, it's just a multi-tool for, for bike stuff. And uh, I've had it for a long time, used it mostly on that. And then when I sort of developed my videography gear, I decided to use this on that. And it turns out that this works perfectly for everything that I need for my camera stuff. Um, it comes in uh, a couple of colors. You've got uh, red and black, you've got gold, you've got, this one is, I think, midnight. Um, and it, it really is just a wonderful tool. I highly recommend you picking one of these up. Uh, it comes with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hex keys, and then you've got a T20 Torx, as well as a, a flathead driver and a Phillips driver. Um, this is great. I put this, it's small. It's around, mm, I don't know, like four inches by three inches. Um, it's 0.3 pounds, so it's pretty light. Uh, you can just throw this into your bag and take off to your set. I would say make sure you know what sizes you need before you pick up an item like this. Um, it's, it's all in metric, so it's not US, but it still covers everything that I need, so I'm really happy about it. Uh, it works on my camera handle that I built. It works on um, all my stuff. It's perfect for my camera cage. Um, it's been super useful in that regard. Uh, even on other people's stuff. Even when I've had to set up other people's cameras, it's worked wonderfully. Um, but that's my experience of it. So, you know, I highly recommend it. Um, but do, do, some, do some more research. If, if you find another tool is better or a more compact tool is better, and you only need a couple of items, then go for that one. Like whatever, whatever works for you um, is what I recommend. Well, that's it for this review. Now I'm gonna get into talking about the camera handle that I built. Uh, and uh, actually you're gonna see this tool used in that. So let's go check it out. Okay, thank you guys for waiting. Let's get into talking about this camera handle. Uh, uh, I'm super excited to share it with you. I built this because I was looking online and I found uh, a lot of different types of handles and yes, they look cool. Yes, they look nice. Yes, they have metal attached to them, but I figured that I would, you know, build my own. I really like building things. Um, I'm a problem solver, so I, you know, I like to find easier ways to do things um, when I don't have the proper technology or tools to do them. I improvise and uh, come up with something. Now, what I did for this was I modeled it after a couple of you know handles that are already out there, but I modified it a bit. So that was my inspiration. It fits my hand well. Um, and it allows me to widen my grip as the other handles do. Widen my grip on my camera so I can get a more steady shot. Um, it's been extremely helpful to have this. I didn't, I, I didn't pay very much money for it. The only thing I paid for uh, was the sandpaper uh, at your local hardware store. And then also, also at your local hardware store, these um, bolts, these uh, hex cap bolts. Um, my multi-tool does and doesn't work with this. The, um, these are US screws, so it doesn't work, uh, so the cap doesn't work um, with the hex keys, but I, I use my um, uh, flat head to screw them in and it, and it works great. It works perfectly, there's no issues with it. Um, it fits right in there, it's just the right size to fit that um, flat head and turn it. 
It's, it's nice, it's lightweight. It's not as easy to take off as the other ones, but it, you know, I just have to unscrew it one of them and then twist the rest of it off and it's like done you know it's maybe five ten seconds of doing that it's like no big deal i've gotten a lot of stability out of you know my movements um when using this and it's just overall worth it now it's not i didn't finish it by protecting it with anything else other than uh you know just the sandpaper and then that's it there's there's no protective layer over this so, you know, over time, I might want to change that and might want to stain it or give it a protective layer. But I think that it works great um, the way it is. And it, you know, it's really quick and lightweight and I can throw it in my pouch. I can remove the screws from it. I can, you know, really uh, tighten it down so it's not as bulky. Um, but I also can leave it if I want to. No big deal. Well. That's it for the afterwards. If you guys really like this and want to learn more about how to build your own, I can certainly show you that in another video. I can make another video if you'd like, just let me know um, and that will be done. So that's it for the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you found any of this information useful, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for more content. If you have any questions you'd like to ask me, uh, go ahead and send them down to the comment section below. If you're interested in purchasing the multi-tool, I will also have a link in the uh, description below so you guys can go ahead and buy that. Um, once again, I just wanted to say thank you and I'll catch you next time.